So I'm Paulette, Mark's behind the camera. Today we're gonna to talk about why we moved to Mexico. Um, pretty much, we knew that we wanted to move abroad. And um, we watched a lot of YouTube videos. We watched um, Kinetic Kennens, we watched Tangerine Travels, we watched uh, Away Away, and we watched um, uh, Viva Fest, uh, which is all in Spanish. And that had a lot of influence on what we liked, what we saw, um, to intrigue us to make a trip here and come on vacation. We read a number of books that I'll include in the uh, links in the description. We visited two years ago and absolutely fell in love with Mexico. We love the people of Mexico. Mexicans are some of the kindest, nicest, gentlest people that, people that we've ever come across in our travels. We knew that Mexico was the place for us after our visit. We love the people. Mexicans are some of the kindest, nicest, generous people that we have come across in our travels. We absolutely love the culture here. Mexicans take care of their own families. They're very family oriented. They go to the parks, they take the families with them. They go to the major plazas, they take the families with them. They go to basically any kind of event at all and they take the families with them. They, they spend hours in the plazas just talking and watching their kids run around and play in the plazas. It's really, um, really quite an amazing sight. Um, and we really appreciate that about this culture. We love the architecture in Mexico. Much of the architecture comes from Spain having conquered Mexico in the, the 1500s. And that occupation lasted for about 300 years, but a lot of the architecture still remains here. And it's quite fascinating to look at. The thing about Mexicans is they celebrate all of their heritage, the, the Spanish heritage, the, the Aztecs, and you know, all of the tribes that came before that. They celebrate it all with parties, holidays, um, parades, and in different kinds of events. They pay homage to historical figures here in Mexico all of the time. It seems like there's a holiday or some celebration of something or someone just about every day of the week. So many believe that Mexico is dangerous. A lot of people think it could be dangerous. Um, other people hold their own beliefs on what they've heard through the news or media, what have you, or other people. So when we decided to tell our friends and our families that we decided to move to Mexico, a lot of them, of course, said the same thing. Oh, it's dangerous. There's cartels. You won't be safe there. You're going to get kidnapped. Um, you know, a lot of them had never even been to Mexico. They've never experienced the culture. But, you know, that was their belief that was instilled in them from whatever. One or two of our friends told us about experiences that they had years ago when visiting Mexico. Um, but that did not deter our decision on moving to Mexico since we had visited two years ago in 2018. So as months passed, um, many thought that we were all talk and no action. Some were really truly happy for us to you know, make the move to Mexico when we wanted to retire in 2019. However, our biggest fear about Mexico is scorpions. scorpions. As time grew closer and our countdown started, we put our house on the market in California. We started getting rid of a lot of our stuff, making up what seemed like a thousand trips to the um, thrift store. You know, started getting rid of some of the other stuff, giving it to family members and, and what have you. And it's a much longer process than you would think. Um, Definitely longer. So start like six months in advance, yeah, at least. Exactly. I'm clearing this stuff up for sure. Okay. And then the next thing we started to do 
was we started to work on our temporary visas. Mm -hmm. And the reason that we did temporary visas is because with permanent visas, you cannot bring your vehicle into Mexico. And that's what we did. We drove into Mexico, so we, we both went temporary on that. I put in for my retirement from work, we had our list in order of the things that we were going to put into our Hyundai Elantra. And that was um, our Vitamix, our juicer, we did bring some silverware, we did bring a couple of towels, uh, a couple of blankets. Uh, what else Clothing, we had four tubs of stuff, that's what we could fit into our Hyundai Elantra, four right. of the black and yellow tubs that you could get at Costco. We brought our two laptops, our Kindles, our VCR. Mm -hmm. Just a side note. If you have electronics, bring them with you because they're much more expensive here. And I think that you're allowed two per person. Yeah. yeah. Although when we went through the border, they didn't check anything. They didn't check. We were real nervous about that, but they never yeah. checked. We also brought some pots and pans and my pillow that always travels with me. I couldn't leave that. It would be worse than leaving your kid behind in Paulette's case. That's right. Our house in California was on the market for about a week. Um, we had an open house, there were several offers, and we wind up making a deal and selling the house right away. Um, after we got the offer on our house, we ended up moving in with a relative that lived nearby for about the next three months. Uh, there we continued to sort through our stuff and we decided what we would donate, what we would take with us in our car that would fit, and what we would come back for. We established res residency in South Dakota for a couple of reasons. Number one, so that I wouldn't have to pay state income tax uh, out of my paycheck, which in California is quite high. And we also registered our vehicle there too. And while we were there, we went ahead and set up a, a mailbox, a mail forwarding service really, um, to be able to store and send our mail here when we need it. So we ended up moving to Mexico in November of 2019 and shortly after that, about a month after we were settled, we started doing the YouTube videos. And the reason that we wanted to go ahead and do that was so that people that wanted to learn about Mexico, to visit or to possibly move here, um, they could get our first-hand experience of what we thought about Mexico. So are we perfect at making our videos? No, we're not, but we're trying. We're trying to perfect it as we go along. And, you know, will we ever have thousands of subscribers like Tangerine Travels or other travel channels? Who knows? But what we do know is we love making these videos and we love sharing them with you. We like to share our experience so that you could see that through our eyes. Um, you know, we appreciate the positive and the negative feedback because that really helps us to grow too. Not so much the negative. <laughs> Tips on expectations about moving to Mexico. Don't get frustrated with the language barrier. People make mistakes. Paulette once tried to order all of the coffee in a restaurant when she said, Toto El Cafe, por favor. A waitress asked me how my meal was. I once said, no bueno. When I meant to say, muy bueno, and you should have seen a horrified look on her face. I, I quickly uh, scrambled to come up with lo siento and say muy bueno, and then she seemed very relieved after that. And whatever you can't bring with you to Mexico, you can always buy it here. Stay tuned for more travel videos from the two travelers in Mexico.